Hi folks and welcome once again to a uh, gas labs little video. And this is the first proper one of 2022. And I'm trying to get a few things done. I've got, a, I've got a few kits, which I was old, really old kits that uh, I was given. And I've decided that brand spanking new kits and they probably go back to the 19 sort of seventies, possibly 1960s. Um, and I've actually thought maybe I'll put them together. Um, it's got no real value and there's no point in sitting on them sort of as, as unmade kits. So I thought I'd put them together. I thought it might be a bit of fun. So I started to get my soldering iron out. Now, this is a, a Weller WSM-1. Now, I was given this soldering iron. It is a micro um, uh, iron and it's it's a really good soldering iron. And it's very expensive. I mean, these probably cost four or five hundred pounds new. Um, but as I say, I was given this. I was given it minus the power supply. And that's where the problem I've got really lies. Up until now, I've been using um, laptop PSUs. And to be honest with you, they've the, the plugs and stuff on on them, doesn't they don't normally fit. And I'm having a real great deal of trouble finding a plug that will actually fit this properly. It seems to be a very odd size, um, almost proprietary. Um, and I'm not able to identify a, a PSU for this, this soldering iron. And I don't want to buy one from Weller. It'll probably cost me a, an absolute ton. So I thought that maybe what I'll do is I'll convert it to Anderson power poles here. Um, and use the shack power supply to just basically run everything. And, you know, that I think will work perfectly. Um, there's very little inside these. And um, by the way, um, you know, I was very disappointed. I thought this might have some, some really sophisticated stuff in, but it's not that doesn't appear that way. Um, however, I've, I've now hit this sort of catch 22 situation where I need a soldering iron to repair a soldering iron. So I, been looking at the TS100. Now, I don't know if you're aware of this. This is a TS, um, TS100 uh, soldering iron. Um, is it going to... I'm on a Mac here. It's got a horrible uh, trackpad. Um, right, so, yeah, this is, uh, this is Hackaday. They're using the... Um, the, 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 uh, the they're using the TS100. Now, I believe there is a... I think there's a TS80 also available, which I don't know if it's a newer one or or, or what really, but there's very slightly different in, in one way or another. And again, this is where I need a bit of advice. Do you, do any of you guys actually use these soldering irons and do you have any experience on them? Because I'd love to know which one's which one's better. I got a lot of good reviews on them, but I, I'm, I really would like to see one in the flesh. That would be absolutely brilliant. So if any of you guys live locally and you're ever popping in the in the store, then please let me know and uh, and bring one down and show me because I would love to see it. And because I know also there's tons and tons of different makes of these. So anyway, let's waffle and let's have a quick look at the item. Um, yeah. Anyway, you can see it's got these interchangeable bits which I absolutely love. Um, it seems to be programmable. It's open source um, as well, which you you seem to be able to sort of change a few things with it. Um, and just do tons and tons of stuff with it. And it just looks uh, such a, a neat little job. And I thought that um, not only would it help me repair this, but it might also do away with some of this sort of stuff because if it's only just a basic kit um, and it will do what this micro soldering iron thing will do because I use this more and more now because of the SMD type stuff. Um, and it's this is a godsend for that. I mean, truly is. I mean, some of those um, very small um, CPU sort of uh, tiny, you know, 64 pin jobbies, there is nothing else that you could do it with. This is just perfect. Um, and although I, I might, I've got a hot air soldering on a solder station here, it's a bit cheap and cheerful and it's, you know, it's not very easy to do. And I think the other thing I don't have is a microscope. Um, which is something else that I really would like to to get in the future. Um, one with a with video on it that would be really really neat. So again, I'm looking at one of those. Um, 
So, yeah. Anyway, this is just a very quick one today, just to ask your opinion, really, if anyone's out there's used the TS100 uh, soldering iron or the TS80. So just really leaves me to say uh, Happy New Year. And uh, this is the first video of 2022. I hope that your celebrations went really well. Hope that everyone is really well. And uh, I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching.